What's good YouTube? It's your boy, Kim Pui. If you're a controller player like me that plays Warzone, Apex, or anything like that, you're gonna like this one. Today in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make your controller from 10 milliseconds, which is the default for all controllers to 1 millisecond. This might not seem much, but like I said, if you're a competitive player, you try to get the best for your own benefits. And of course, before we proceed with the video, make sure to like the video if it's giving you value, subscribe, support the channel, and hit the bell icon to be notified for my future uploads. Alright, so first things first, make sure to click on the link in the description and you should get this window right here. And don't worry, this is safe. If this wasn't safe, then I wouldn't be making this video at all. Okay, so when you're on this page, of course, you're gonna have to click the download button here. So just follow along and just we'll do it step by step. So download that profile there. And then we save that in our downloads. Perfect. Make sure you open up where you've downloaded that file. Right click on that and then you're gonna open it with the Windows Explorer right here and this is the uh, page that you should be able to see the folder and when you see this drive a folder here you're just gonna want to drag that into your desktop wait for that to happen and you can now minimize that now you have to double click obviously on the uh, folder here and this is your new folder here and you're gonna look for the setup okay so double click on the setup allow it because sometimes your firewall will definitely block it so make sure you allow some things through okay so now you're gonna see this little window here a window pop-up this is your main pretty much the main thing that makes your controller become super speed okay so on this uh on this window you're gonna go to this top left here click all and you're gonna see so much so much USB that's connected to your um, computer so obviously I have my battle weaver right here and uh, luckily I haven't made this to I haven't made this um, overclocked yet so it's still normal it's on a default and if you're Finding it quite hard to find the controller that's connected, what you can do is you can easily just take this off and pay attention to your window when you take this off. And then mine went out, so that's the 5 there, the, the B interval is 5. And then let's put that back again and that should come back. There you go. So now we know what to pick. So this is, the, this is our file here, the wireless controller. Okay, so now we're gonna try and overclock it, okay? So first things first, obviously, you're gonna click on that uh, wireless controller file. You're gonna install service first. Install service. Open. And that's the first step done, okay? And now, what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna overclock it. So on the bottom left here, you're gonna click with the 1000 that says default and then you're gonna do filter on device and then you're just gonna install install service again and that's you done voila okay as you can see here it says 1000 but the B interval is 5 so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make that into one well technically it is one but it's showing us five so we're just gonna take it off from the USB again and then put it back on there we go perfect now as you can see the B interval is now one rate is 1000 and the filter is yes and that's what you're looking for okay and that's technically it so it's nice and easy so that's it for the video thank you guys for watching and appreciate you guys that's following along and please do subscribe and like the video as this will help my channel grow and we are trying to get monetized 
And of course, make sure to share this with your friends if this is going to be valuable to them as well. Thank you once again. And as always, stay positive, stay healthy, good vibes only.